Hi everyone, it's February 8th, 2011, and today, as you can see, I got a harvest. I have my kale and my black seeded Simpson lettuce, and I already done this once on one of my videos. We're going to go ahead and harvest some more today, and as you can see, I did, <clears throat> just to kind of see how these would do, I put some in six packs, and then some in just some larger flats, like that. And it does work really well for lettuce and kale. These are growing in a cooler room at night. Uh, the room is cooler and that kind of helps. I also want to update you on my pepper plants. This is the pickled pepper. And they are blooming right there. Isn't that something? So they're doing really well. It's another one. They're really staying nice and stout, and I got the lights really close to them, so that makes them look really, really nice and stay, so they don't get leggy. But as you can see, they're blooming. I don't know how much these will produce inside. I'm probably, they're in a four-inch pot, and I'm probably going to have to put them in a bigger pot, which I probably will do this week sometime. But you're going to be here. We're going to be, I'm going to bring you in closer. And we're going to just, I'm just going to trim this off. I've been using these in salads. The kale, too, uh, works good in salads or fresh or however you want to eat it. You can also dry the kale, okay? Okay. I have a pot. I'm a tray here. Let's see, I want to make sure you can see that, what I'm doing here. And I'm going to move these aside. But basically... You wouldn't believe that I sheared these off. It's probably been, you know, I'm going to look back at my date, but it's been a little while. But you can believe how much growth they have already. But I'm going to shear them off again today. And as long as I keep, keep them in a cooler area and take care of them and water them when they need to, they'll do just fine. So we're just going to, I'm just going to shear them off today, just like so. And this is all I done last time. And it worked out really well. And it doesn't hurt to give them a little haircut. They need it. This promotes new growth and makes for a sturdier plants. I'm actually taking some of the stem off with them, which is fine. Uh, you know, they as they get getting a little bit leggy, but not too bad. But once I get this done, you know, I'm going to have a pretty good amount of kale it'll be enough just for the two of us okay I'll show that to you now it's all cut and it looks good it still looks good it's good and lush and green got a couple more here to do the six packs and I'm just gonna take and see if you can see that trim the tops off the, the nicer leaves and believe me this isn't going to hurt a thing. This is going to make a better plant. It's such a pretty blue-green color the kale is. And the kale kind of tastes, it's kind of a cross between cabbage and, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a different taste between cabbage and maybe a kohlrabi. Yeah. So, let me show you what I got here. Definitely enough for the two of us, as you can see. Okay, these for sure need a good trim right now. And you know, if I don't use all this, I can always just throw it in the compost bin. You know, it's it isn't going to hurt a thing. I'm hoping we will use them all though. And for what do make? I'm definitely going to be making a salad this evening. Okay, that might look a little ugly now, but you wait in uh, another week. I'm going to clean that up a little bit more. Another week or so, this is going to be filled out again. Okay? One thing about the black seeded Simpson, if you get these cut down, uh, they'll do so much better. Um, if they're outside in the heat, they seem to, to grow very fast. And they, they these are slower to bolt, but they do bolt and um, go to seed if you don't watch it so all right so i'm gonna see if we can get this turned over here to this larger one 
And I'm just going to take and do some trimming without trying to injure and pulling out the plant. What I do with these then after this is I'll wash them, put them in a, a bag, and put them in my crisper in the fridge where they will get a little crispier because they are kind of soft. It's kind of a soft uh, leaf because they've been growing indoors. If they're outside, they'd be a little firmer for sure because they've had the weather elements. But I'm just about done giving haircuts today. I can't believe, you know, if anybody's thinking they can't grow this, you can grow this indoors for sure. Try it. Uh, make sure you have kind of a cooler an area for growing and good lighting for them. I'm just going to clean these up a little bit. Clean out some of the ones that don't need to be in there. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So, I'll show you what I got here. There's my lettuce. And there's my kale. Okay, so we got quite a bit. And you can see, show you. Um, I've trimmed all them off and they're gonna go back under the lights okay and they will produce again for me well one last thing I wanted to say is I have these growing in a peat and uh, perlite compost organic mix that is working pretty good so far uh, if you want to fertilize these and you want to keep it more organic stay with your compost teas your um, fish emulsions, uh, things that are more or on the organic side. I do not use miracle Grow or anything on the, any edibles that I eat. And I think that's a good thing to remember. Trying to keep things that you put in your mouth a little more uh, safer. Put it this way, that's safer. And um, there's a lot of ways that, you know, you can keep your food safe is by growing it yourself and you know, it's just, it's just a wonderful thing you can do for you and your family. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for stopping by today. This is Diane at the Pick a Fence Greenhouse and Gardens. And get a growing. If you want to grow indoors, try some lettuce and kale. One of the easier things to grow. And it's just fun to have your own food growing. Especially we're in the winter months here right now. It's just fun to have your own food growing. So take care and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.